Hello friends, in this video we shall see what is the session in case of a PHP web application. We know that a cookie is used to store the client's data inside the text files which is stored in the client's computer system. Now a session is another alternative way to make the data accessible across various pages in a website or a web application, web based application. What is a session when the system or when the client first visits a particular web page or web application, the session starts and the session is said to be in process or the session is continuing till the time he or the user leaves the particular web application or the browser is closed. So that duration between logging into the web, app, web application and logging out is called as a session. So if you want certain data to be held across the entire session till the from the time it the user logs in up to the time the user logs out. That duration during that duration if certain data is to be persistently required then that is called as a session and those variables or that those data are called as the session data. Okay. So this data will be available to all the pages during the duration of the uh, you know uh, session time interval. The location of the time interval, location of the temporary directory in which this particular data is stored is stored on the web server and the location of that directory is decided by the setting in php.ini. You can mention which is the directory in which this session data is to be stored and that is setting is called as session.save path. So php.ini will have a certain setting. You can mention the directory in which this temporary directory will be stored. That value of that directory will be the value of session.save path attribute. Now PHP first creates a 32 bit or uh, 32 uh, character long string. It creates a unique identifier that is 32 hexadecimal digit, digits are created which is a string a randomly created string is there and it is called as PHP SES ID. A cookie called as PHP SES ID session SES ID stands for session ID is automatically sent to the user's computer and there it is stored. It is used for the identification of the PHP session. Now on the server what happens? A file is automatically created on the server in that particular des designated directory which you set in the php.ini and it bears the name with that unique identifier 32 hexadecimal bits contained in a string using that identifier and prefixed by SEWS underscore. So SEWS underscore dash the PHP session ID whichever was generated using that a temporary directory is created inside that directory. Okay, so when this temporary directory is created with the name session underscore the unique identifier. When a PHP script wants to retrieve the data, retrieve the session data, the value of that particular session variable what it contains, PHP automatically gets that unique session identifier. It has already that unique identifier with it. It finds out the name of the directory with PHP SES ID as the attachment to this SEWS underscore and it looks into the directory. It looks, looks into the directory and it tries to find out whether a session has been set or not. Okay, so when the session is in process, all the session variables that the user may create, the, that the server's PHP scripts may create will be stored in that directory. The session ends when there are two possibilities, when the user himself logs out of the web application or it may so happen that the user user's browser loses connection with the server. So in either cases the session will be lost and as the session will be lost all the data that will be stored that was stored in that temporary directory will also be lost. So that session ends means 
the temporary directory contents will also be will also be evaporated or lost it may so happen that the session data may be also timed out generally a duration of 30 minutes is specified for holding on to the session data after the predetermined interval also the session data may be uh, you know uh, removed from the server's temporary directory there is a st session start function this is important because as soon as the session starts and all the variables that are to be stored inside the temporary directory that session start is activated by the function called as session start this first checks whether session is already present the session may have already started in that case session start does not have any role to play but first time the session start is required to start the session all the variables that the the, the server script server side script may uh, you know store in different session variables they are available in the dollar underscore session associative array and from which it can be fetched at as and when they are required these variables can be accessed throughout the lifetime of the session till the time when the session is destroyed all the variables are held on into this associative associative array it is always a better practice to check whether a particular session variable has been set or not with the help of the inbuilt function called each set so make use of this each set function to check whether a session variable has been created has been stored or not you don't need to call the call the start session function to start a session when user visits the site for the first time so if the session auto start variable has been set the parameter has been set in the php.ini then you don't have to call this start session start it will be automatically started so either the session will auto start or you manually start with session start function and then later on during the session you create as many number of session variables as are required and retrieve by fetching it from this associative array in order to destroy a session session will be anyway destroyed when the user logs out or the browser is disconnected from the web application but if you want to explicitly destroy the, uh, the session call the function session underscore destroy this function does not need any argument it is an unconditional you know function if you want to destroy a single session variable also can be destroyed not the entire system not the entire session if you want to remove a particular session variable you can use an unset function to remove one particular session variable from the associative array you can also remove one function uh, one session variable by using unset function okay so session start how to do session variables how to maintain and session how to destroy how to destroy the entire session how to destroy a single variable that we have seen now it may be possible that sometimes the client may not be allowing you to create the session variables there may be a case when the user does not allow to store the session cookies into the client computer in that case what you can do you can use the constant sid the session id is whatever is generated which is defined if the session is started if the client did not send an appropriate session if the client did not send an appropriate session variable or session cookie it has a form session underscore name is equal to session id so that you can use otherwise it expands an empty string thus you can embed it unconditionally into your url so even if the user does not permit the creation of session data into its computer you can have a work around with uh, around uh, that particular inability to hold the session data so all these concepts of session how to create how to store how to retrieve those concepts of management of the session that we, we shall learn by a practical example in which a session will start some data will be stored and the session will be retrieved so that i will show you with the help of an example here 
so in this example this is a demonstration of how to set session variables and how to retrieve or read the session variables that have been set so to begin with there is a PHP script called as session set in which there is a form and there are two text elements name and age the input type is equal to submit when this button is pressed the data will be posted back to the PHP self that is the same script session set dot PHP by the method is equal to post so obviously when this session set dot PHP is opened for the first time the submit variable will not be set underscore post submit will have no value so this condition will not be true so therefore this will not be executed and therefore the form will be displayed but when the submit button is clicked the dollar post submit associative array dollar post will have the value for submit button this is set so therefore this will be true session will start session start function starts the session and then in the in inside that session you set up a session variable called user whose value is obtained from the dollar post and associative array value associated with the key name will be set as the value of the session variable user and then it gives me a hyperlink to go to the check session dot php in the check session dot php the value associated with the user session variable is fetched from the underscore session server variable that is fetched and that will be displayed it will print a message hello whatever name you have you may have entered in the form uh, the name text name text element in the form so that is just a confirmation of the session variable that is set so i'll now open the session set dot php first a form will be displayed enter the data session variable will be set and read back by the check session dot php okay so this session set dot php is opened in the browser it is giving me a form just send enter some data into this press the submit button the data is posted back to the same script which sets the session variable called as user okay the session variable is set the name is used as user so read the session variable back and it will print the message like like this this is how the session variables are set and read back using the php script 